Let's play a game. I pick two numbers, X and Y, which I keep in secret from you. You then give me any strictly positive number, like 2 or pi, or 1 or a million. Let's denote this number as Z. And suppose that for all of these numbers, I claim that the distance between X and Y is smaller. You may even call out an infinite amount of numbers, however small. And for all infinity of them, my claim is unchanged. X and Y are closer than any of your numbers. So what does it imply? If we describe our game in a more mathematical way, we get that for any Z strictly greater than zero, the modulus of X minus Y is less than Z. Well, the only reasonable conclusion which this game suggests is that X is equal to Y. The proof is simple. Suppose that our conjecture is false, so x is not the same as y. We can assume that x is greater than y. Well, we can then say that x is y plus some positive value a. But according to the rules of our game, x minus y must be less than a, implying that x is less than y plus a. Which is of course a contradiction because we had equality before. Therefore, our conjecture holds, and x is indeed equal to y. So really what we have done is invented a new condition of equality. And this is the essence of how limits work. Mathematicians like to put it this way. If you get infinitely close to something, then you are equal to that something. So, as an example, we can take a function 1 over x and consider a limit as n goes to infinity. It is natural to conjecture that the answer should be 0. And the way to prove it is to play our game. The only difference is that 1 over x is a function, so it is allowed to change and we just need to choose a sufficiently large value of x to satisfy the rules of the game. So if z is 0.1, we can take x equal to 10. If z is 1 billionth, any x greater than 10 to the 9 will be sufficient. So our function approaches 0 infinitely closely, and this is why it makes sense to say that it equals to zero at infinity, even though it never actually crosses x axis. So, once again, treat limits as a new weird condition of equality.